please rise. Good morning. Today is the memorial of Saint Pius X. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who is to safeguard the Catholic faith and to restore all things in Christ, fill Pope Saint Pius X with heavenly wisdom and apostolic fortitude. Graciously grant that following his teaching and example, we may gain an eternal prize through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord came upon me and led me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me in the center of the plain, which was now filled with bones. He made me walk among the bones in every direction so that I saw how many there were on the surface of the plain, how dry they were. He asked me, son of man, can these bones come to life? I answered, Lord God, you alone know that. Then he said to me, prophesy over these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, see I will bring spirit into you that you may come to life. I will put sinews upon you, make flesh grow over you, cover you with skin and put spirit in you so that you may come to life and know that I am the Lord. I prophesied as I had been told, and even as I was prophesying, I heard a noise. It was a rattling as the bones came together, join, bone joining bone. I saw the sinews and the flesh come upon them and the skin cover them, but there was no spirit in them. Then the Lord said to me, prophesy to the spirit, Prophesy, son of man, and say to the spirit, thus says the Lord God, from the four winds come, O spirit, and breathe into these slain, that they may come to life. I prophesied as he told me, and the spirit came into them. They came alive and stood upright, a vast army. Then he said to me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel, they have been saying, our bones are dried up, our hope is lost, and we are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves 
and have you rise from them. O oh, my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live, and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. Give thanks, thanks to, to the Lord, Lord his, his love, love is everlasting. everlasting. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, those whom he has redeemed from the hand of the foe and gathered from the lands, from the east and the west, from the north and the south. Give thanks, thanks to the, the Lord, Lord, his love is everlasting. everlasting. They went astray in the desert wilderness, the way to an inhabited city they did not find. Hungry and thirsty, their life was wasting away within them. Give thanks, thanks to, to the Lord, Lord. his love, love is everlasting. everlasting. <clears throat> they cried to the Lord in their distress. From their straits he rescued them, and he led them by a direct way to reach an inhabited city. Give thanks, give thanks to, the to the Lord, Lord. His, his love is everlasting. everlasting. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and his wondrous deeds to the children of men, because he satisfied the longing soul and filled the hungry soul with good things. Give, give thanks, thanks to, to the Lord, Lord. His, his love, love is everlasting. everlasting. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Teach me your paths, my God. Guide me in your truth. Alleluia. Alleluia. Your blessings, Father. May Almighty God bless you to announce the gospel in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest in the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbors yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So this is a tall order. A very tall order. To love God with all of our heart, with all of our mind, and with all of our soul, and to love all of our neighbors as Jesus loved us. That's a tall order. As we go through the, our daily lives, we find that it is hard to concentrate on God all day. Uh, for those of us who have to work, or you have children to take care of, a house to take care of, you have... Um, you have to, 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 to do things all day, and when you find it, when you get tired, you come home, you turn on the TV, you watch TV, you watch sports, or you read something, or, or you're doing something, which we do something all day long. And we have so many things that, that are taking our attention, our time. The worst is the cell phone. Thank God we have this cell phone, cell phone otherwise we wouldn't be doing <laughs> these um, videos to home. But, but the cell phone is... Uh, I remember when, when they first came out, I thought to myself, now who would want to carry something around with them that would give somebody the opportunity to contact them all the time? But that's what we do. That's what we do. And everything we do keeps us away from God unless we are concentrating on God. It's hard. It's very hard. And then he says that we, we need to love him with all of our heart. Well, there's so many things that take our hearts away from him, too. There, there are so many emotions that we have, envy and jealousy and hatred, and, and, and we let these things build up inside of us. And when we do, God is not able to fill our hearts with his love. And then he wants us also to 
to love him with all of our soul. I think that's probably the easiest of the three because <laughs> I think we give him our souls every day. But, but then the other two are kind of hard to, to follow up. He also tells us, which I think is even harder, to love our neighbor as ourselves. In this day and time, it's very hard. If you ever just turn on the TV and watch some kind of news program, there's a number of news programs, and, and they just they're hate each other. They're bitter towards each other. They curse each other. They, 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 they say horrible things about each other, personal things as well as political things. The, the, the Chinese are, are trying to take over the whole eastern part of the world and the Russians keep meddling in our, in our, our, uh, our politics and in our government. We have, we have this time of unrest throughout the, the country. And, and, and no matter what you see or read, there's somebody that, that has hatred for the other side. And it's back and forth and back and forth. And even down to a very small local level, level, when you're going down the highway and you're, you've been sitting for two or three minutes trying to get off the freeway and somebody comes right by you and then pulls off in front of you, boy, that's hard to love that person. There's so many people that are hard to love in our, in our world. People that you work with sometimes are hard to love. But God tells us that these two things are the most important things in our lives. To love him with all our heart, soul, and mind. To love each other as Jesus loved us. And how do we do that then? How do we, how do, we do that every day? Because it's hard. Well, there's one secret that Jesus gave us. And that is prayer. The greatest gift that we have in our arsenal is prayer. And if every day we should get up in the morning, get on our knees and tell God that this day is his. Body, soul, and mind, this day is his. Now, Lord, if I forget you throughout the day because I'm doing something else, I'm sorry, but it's still yours today. I'm giving you this day because I love you. And then you ask for all those throughout the world that have hurt you or harmed you or trying to harm you. Ask for forgiveness for all of them, no matter who they are, no matter how bad they are, no matter which side of the spectrum they're on. They're on. We ask God to forgive them and to touch their hearts and to bring them to know him so that they too may enter the kingdom of God. That's what he wants from us. St. Paul tells us that, um, that we are prisoners in this body. And there's nothing we can do about it. This is who we are. This is where we are. And this body has all kinds of, of emotions and problems and thoughts and, and baggage. But we have one thing. One thing. And that is our soul belongs to God. As one people, Gentile and Jew, let us pray to the God who unites us to him. For the universal mission of the church to reach out to all people, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For societies and countries which discriminate against racial or religious minorities, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and safety for families who have migrated into our community from other countries, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the COVID-19 virus and for healing for all those who have it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our St. Jude students being confirmed this next weekend, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and who are dying, for those who have died, 
for those whose names are written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. And for the repose of the soul of Anne Michelonis, whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, receive the prayers we offer in this house of prayer, open to all people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Receive with kindness our oblations and grant, O Lord, we pray, that following the teachings of Pope Saint Pius, we may celebrate these divine mysteries with sincere reverence and receive them in a spirit of faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Pius, Tenth, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his word of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy the for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church put throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That is the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from our evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Lord. Of my sins. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Lord. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
For those of you who are at home, let us pray the prayer of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Let us pray. Celebrating the memorial of Pope Saint Pius X, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the power of this, this heavenly table, we may be made constant in the faith and be of one accord in your love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying our Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.